God has been kind to me, society has been nice to me, I've got a lot in life. Maybe this is the time to give something back in life. Regardless, now that you have taken this trouble and you are sitting in front and watching this, it shows that you have crossed the first step, that is your intention. Now let's see what you are in for before you jump into the water. Let's start with understanding what counselling is not. Because there's a lot of misconception about counselling, a lot of people have various vague ideas. The first thing I want to clarify is counselling is not giving advice, telling people what to do, solving their problems, arbitration, mediation, compromising. No. That's not a counsellor's job. A counsellor is a person who is there for somebody who may or may not be having a crisis, who may be facing a challenge, a threat, who may be just confused, who may be wanting to improve his quality of life or his level of mental health. So here you have a counsellor who says, okay, I am there with you. I am not going to carry you, I am not going to lift you up, I am not going to even show you the direction, but mentally I will hold your hand and I will take you through this journey till you say, okay, I am fine, I want to walk on my own and you proceed. So now that you are shown interest in counselling, what you, do you need to do? You don't necessarily have to be a psychiatrist, or a doctor, or a psychologist, or a clinician, or anything of that sort. You don't have to be very, very experienced in life. You don't have to be very old or having gone through a lot of experiences. Yes, it does help. The more experience of life that you have had, the better it will be. But whether you are young or old, whether you are young at heart, the point is that you say, yes, I am interested in human beings. I am interested in the welfare of human beings and I am going to do something about it. So, what do you do? You undergo a training. The training has nothing to do with theory. No amount of books, no amount of examinations, no amount of theory can help you become a better counsellor. What you are going to do is to sharpen your skills. And those skills are something which perhaps some of them or many of them you have to a greater extent. What you are going to do is you are going to sharpen those skills in the training firstly. Secondly, you are going to become aware of certain do's and don'ts. When you know that, okay, this is what can cause harm or this is what can help and you just keep it at the corner of your mind and say, within these parameters, within these guidelines, I am not going to step out of this and I am going to proceed. You can be sure. Many people may have this doubt, maybe you have a doubt. Will I make a good counsellor? How do I know? I have never done counselling in my life. I am not a psychologist. Will I make a good counsellor? Can I tell you the answer straight away? Yes. The fact that you have shown interest and you come here is enough. All you need to do now is to sharpen those skills by undergoing some very basic training and then learning on the job. Being open to change, being open to unlearning and relearning. If you have that open-mindedness, if you are willing to start on the journey, you are most welcome. I can assure you, regardless of how many people you help, if you follow this basic guideline, one thing I can assure you is, you will be able to go back home and sleep comfortably with a clear conscience saying, somebody came to me for help, maybe I helped him or her, maybe I didn't. But one thing I know is, I did not make matters worse. So I am not going to take charge of somebody's life, I am not going to become an advisor to that uh, uh, person. I am just going to be there to give that hand holding and that emotional support to that person. If he benefits, excellent. For some reason, if he doesn't benefit or he chooses not to benefit, I will have the broad mindedness to allow him his freedom, his space and allow him to go ahead and do what he wants. Now here comes the last and the most important point that I would like to tell you. If you seriously take up this training, if you seriously take up counselling and you know learn the nuances, practice, sharpen yourself, be a genuine counsellor, very soon, one day or the other, you are going to look back and 
say, when somebody asks you, hey, you've been a counselor, what have you achieved? You know what you're going to say? I don't know how many people I have helped because there are no parameters. There is no measuring scale. There's no thermometer in mental health. So I don't know how many people I've really helped. But one thing I do know and one thing I can say with great confidence is my quality of life has improved. Ask any counsellor, professional, lay counsellor, voluntary counsellor. If they have done this genuine work for some time, consistently, they will be able to tell you that their quality of life has improved. Regardless of what their achievements in life may have been, regardless of what else they may have done, but they will be able to tell you that once I came into this field, my own quality of life has improved. So here you are. You want to improve your quality of life. You want to improve your relationship with your near and dear. You want to understand areas where there's a lot of question mark. Why does this happen? Why does so and so behave this way? Why is it that you know somebody does not respond? A lot of these questions will get answered. And as you go along this journey, you will meet some very wonderful people. Your own relationships will get nourished and cherished. And somewhere along the line, you will be able to say that, yes, my quality of life has certainly and positively changed for the better. So welcome into this new world. I wish you all the very best.